Hello everybody, my name is Pizza Hunter Brandon, and welcome back to another episode of Hell 3 Minecraft here on the Hell 3 Minecraft server. I'm not gonna lie, it, it's still a little bit weird, like, trying to do an introduction to a video with my whole face cam situation now. Considering, like, before, I always used to do, like, the whole, like, shift thing, right? But now it's like, I can actually say hello to you guys, so it's a little bit different, but anyways... Welcome back to another episode here on the server. Now, you might be noticing something. Uh, I'm not talking to stream viewers right now. I'm only talking to you guys, my YouTube viewers, right now. So it's a little bit weird. Uh, I'm not actually streaming this episode, even though I have full ability to be able to stream. But I'm actually uh, decided to pre-record for tomorrow, a day in advance, because I actually want to take a little bit of time off camera. Because I'm sure as you guys, uh, you know, those who've been following Red Side and Blue Side of H3M, have noticed that uh, Blue Team kind of came out of nowhere. Like, they came out of nowhere, and they've got some really damn good gear now. Uh, I think Vic has been doing a, a lot. I don't know if it's anyone else, uh, whether or not like Matt's been helping out. I know Matt... Actually, interestingly enough, it's uh, 12.30 right now. It's 12.30 a.m., and Matt's actually online with me, and he's been online for quite a while. I've kind of just been, you know, like, refreshing the server page or whatever, trying to figure out when I wanted to record. And uh, he's been on for a while, too, so he might be grinding up as well. I know I think he lost a good amount of stuff today, but I, I had, like, a little thought, and I'm like, I'm not really going to be able to spend a lot of time, uh, you know, like, off... Or, I should... Hmm... How do I explain this? I wouldn't be able to spend a lot of time during a one-hour live stream because I usually only have a window to uh, stream for about an hour, and I wouldn't really have that much time to be able to, like, you know, grind up some good gear and actually progress really, really far right now. And we still have that whole two-hour cap, and I mean... I only spent, like, what, yesterday about 30 minutes, or 30, 40 minutes on live because I had to go to my neurologist appointment. But, uh, yeah, I really didn't spend all that much time. So what I decided to do for right now is to record an episode offline, and uh, we're going to go ahead and just get some good stuff going. Uh, really, when it comes down to it, what I think I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to drop down to the little uh, ghetto mob grinder we got down below, try and get some levels first off, and then we're also, let me take a look here. So our balance right now is sitting at 207k coins, uh, two. 70 kek coins i think we're gonna go ahead and spend that on some diamonds and hopefully get a couple diamond sets and then really as if you guys haven't seen before let me go ahead and show you real fast up here we have this area right here which is uh it's still very bare i mean i did just make this like you know about a day and a half ago so it's not really a lot but at the same time though i still do want to fill this up as fast as i possibly can so i want this entire thing for the most part to be equipped with full diamond armor and i don't think that's gonna happen very soon because i mean like what is that one two three four six eight nine uh, it's about yeah it's ten seconds sets of diamond armor so 240 diamonds right there including swords or whatever so it's not really all that feasible for right now so what i think i'm actually gonna go ahead and do is let's you know what in the meanwhile let's actually go ahead and ring up the diamond armor that we've got on right now we can just go ahead and put pop it on one of these guys right here we'll do one two three and four and the thing is too i have to remind myself like it, it's not really before i'm sure you guys knew like kenny and i kept like a good set of Look at that. Our, our our absorption hearts is still there, even though we don't have the gear on. It's just like, uh, oh no, there it's it's gone this time. It's just like back in uh, HGM season two when we had that same thing with the absorption hearts. But uh, it, it's a little bit different now because Kenny and I we we had like one diamond set reserved for us, so nobody would you know like uh, die with it or whatever. And that wasn't to say like we wanted to keep things for ourselves, but it was to say that you know we just didn't want. We wanted, you know, the people who were actively on the server around 1 o'clock to always have a good diamond gear set on. Which, you know, when it comes down to it, Kenny, myself, and I are, uh... Kenny, myself, and I? Did I actually just say... I did. I... Yeah, I swear, like, I need to figure out the cutoff time of when it's too late to record Minecraft videos. Kenny, myself, and Jerome. Okay, much better that time. Kenny, myself... And Choco. There you go. There are the three. I don't know why. I think it was because I just ran by Jerome's house and was thinking about him for a tip. That sounds a little weird. I'm always thinking about him. Same time, though, explanations. I always wanted one of us three active people that always came on around that time to have a full diamond gear set if, for whatever reason, we were ambushed. We didn't want to keep it from other people. We just wanted to make sure that we were always at our fullest strength when 1 o'clock came around. The only thing is now is that it's no surprise... 
not a lot of people play this server right now. And I mean, like, you can't really blame them. It's just, it's not necessarily their interest. Some people may not have the time in the day, which, you know, is a good thing. I just saw some people that come on every here and there to record. They just don't come on very often. But there's also some people that just don't come on at all anymore, which, you know, it's kind of like the one story or the other. And you can't really blame them. Some people just don't really like a series. Other people may have a good vibe for it. Like myself, I've always loved HTM, you know, regardless of what playstyle rules it is. Other people, it's a little bit more in the middle. So, with that said, though, long rambling aside, we don't really need to worry about securing diamond gear for myself anymore, or like for individual people. We just need to have a mass ton of it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do right now is I'm going to go ahead and grab up, or actually I'm going to go throw away uh, all the swords and weaponry I've got right now. I'm going to stock up on a ton of uh, stone swords, hop back down to that mob grinder, and we're just going to get crushing on some levels. And I'll catch you guys back in what's well, probably going to be a while, I would say. So uh, enjoy the ride of one second while well, it's going to be about, I don't know, an hour for me. So I will say one thing. Uh, we're down here in the mines, and here's a little bit of a problem. First off, I spent a good 10 minutes trying to keep a safe area, because if you guys don't know, to get down here, you always had to go door to a really, like, dangerous area, and now that we've got all the mobs surrounding, like, outside of that place, it was really dangerous, so I went ahead through here and dug up a good place just like, just, like a staircase down, and then I went over here and found out that Choco just made a staircase down the whole time. I didn't even see it. So I didn't know that wasted some time. But either way, though, you take a look at what we've got going on in this little situation right here. Uh, our main... Bad aim or a grudge? Okay, just bad aim. The, the main problem that we've got going on right now is that uh, the new mobs spawn here. So we, it doesn't really affect us all that much. But I mean, like, take a look right now. We're facing up against three zombies that have iron armor. These guys rip durability. Like... Level are, levels are not as easy to get anymore as they used to be. And I will tell you, that is a little bit of a problem. Now, I mean, you can kill them in here. Like, it's, again, it, you're not going to die. Like, you know, likely. You have a good chance. You have a chance to if, you're, if you play it stupid. But, I mean, at the same time, though, as long as you're careful, all that's really bothering me right now is the fact that durability is going to be a huge impact. And mobs are still nerfed, by the way. I think since, uh, like, episode 3 or 4 back when the series just started to give, like, less experience. Now, I don't know if I'm going to like that so much anymore, considering... Okay. Actually, okay. Well... I just realized that XP gathering is going to be considerably harder and a lot more dangerous than I quite frankly remember because skeletons now have bows that literally drill you. They will take you and... Where did I even just get shot from? I didn't even see that. I'm going to have to like slow it down. I, I literally don't even know where I just got shot from. I did not see an arrow. I think, I think it's from right here, but oh my god. Okay, so I don't know... Okay, no, I, I know it's that guy in the iron armor now, at least, but still, like, that's just... Okay, so here's the deal. I might actually want to break this block so we can actually get a little... Yeah, okay, being lower like this, I think, is definitely going to help, but still. Okay, um... Maybe I should have came down here in diamond armor. In fact, I think... I'm not going to lie, guys. I might take a little bit of durability on my diamond armor just to ensure that I don't die, because we... It's also the fact that witches come around here too, and I think witch- like, there is a witch right now that I have not killed, and I think witches are a bit more prominent now with the new, uh, mob update. So, we might want to go slip on some diamond armor real fast, just to make sure we have no chance of dying, because if I die with 29 levels, you know what, actually, I'm realizing something right now. We're at 27 levels, and we've had these for the most part since the start of- well, actually, I shouldn't say- okay, yep, uh, right. Let's go get some diamond armor on before these witches drop. Because from what I've seen before, uh, witches seem to be the new meta in terms of mobs that can kill you. Because they drop uh, harming potions. And harming potions do a lot of damage. I don't know if they've been buffed uh, with the h stream update or if they deal more damage on this server in, per uh, server in particular. But they still do a lot of damage. So we need to kind of like do everything that we can to make sure we can avoid that. So... Uh, I'm going to go slip some diamond armor, go back down, and continue grinding out levels. And I'll, I'll keep this recording just in case anything happens, but uh, cross your fingers and heaven, be, uh, heaven forbid that anything does happen, which we kind of would not like. What are you in here? That's the danger zone, I think. Yeah, so uh, are we good? Are we safe right now? Oh, wow. Why is it over? Okay, it's over here. Noted where this is. Uh, th that's why I made the staircase off in a different direction, because the ladder is in the most dangerous place possible, right in the middle of that forest. Fantastic, Choco. I love it. <laughs> oh. My. God. Guys. 
This is the most terrifying thing I think I've ever seen in my life. Did anyone just see that? Did anyone just see what that is? Oh my god. Yep, that's a flying creeper. Yep, that- nope, that is legitimately a flying creeper. He is riding a spider that is invisible. There is a flying creeper. Is the creeper dead? The creeper got suffocated. That was... That was beyond... I, I don't think I've ever... Nope. Yep. Nope. That is... Yep. yep, yep nope. Yep. Nope. I... Nope. Yep. Yep. So, we're here over at Spawn. The good old fun times of the series. Like, I feel like everyone, for the most part, everyone gets, like, really giddy whenever you sell some stuff at Spawn. Really just have to do a lot with currency. I love it, personally. I feel like it's a huge adrenaline rush. So, we got 57 iron to spend. We're gonna go ahead and drop that down for a good old... 80,000 coins. It's so good right there, baby. So, oh, uh, we also have one emerald. Gotta pop off that other 700 just to make sure that's actually 80k right there. So, in total, we have to spend, right now, 287,000 coins. That is phenomenal. So, we've already got six diamonds in here right now. Let's just go ahead and, oh, well, first, wait a second, nearly did something bad. An anvil, oh, I hate having to do this, but an anvil's 25k coins. We need it, so we're gonna go ahead and buy one of those. It was necessary. All right, and by the way, also, guys, uh, for those wondering, we did have a lot of iron. We could have made our own anvil. Is that worth it? No, not at all. You get about, like, it, it's just, do the math, it's a ripoff. Here we go. So, we have now a total to spend 262,000 coins. Let's see how many downs we can get for this. And three, two, one. I love it. It's so good. That's so good. Oh, man. So good. Damn, that's so good. I love it so much, man. Okay, so we have in total now with... 23,000 to spare, not a bad number, 58 diamonds, which is plenty more enough for, uh, that right there is more than two sets of full diamond armor and two sets of, uh, you know, swords or whatever. I guess swords and diamond armor, I still got some stuff to spare. So, that and, combining with an anvil itself, that's a pretty good haul right there. So, let's go ahead and take it all the way back home, and, uh, yeah, we'll get to work from there. Alright, yeah, so we're back here, and, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and pop our good old anvil down right there. Now, also, one thing I for completely forgot to remind myself of is first off we have inside here 12 more diamonds so in total we've got 72 that's not true because uh i, I overlooked one small thing and that's uh you know we kind of if, if you just take a look right here let me just go ahead and uh let me just grab this uh this good old silk touch pickaxe that we got right well actually i don't want to spend it on that but uh right about where's we have a pick we have a wow it's actually wow damn that's a really good looking pickaxe dude when did we get that i don't even know when we got that but you have to remember too we kind of we kind of have a diamond block like, literally sitting right underneath the chest is kind of taunting us right now. So I mean, we also have that. We also have Roger's diamond eggs that we've you know we've kind of taken the diamond eggs and done our way with them and multiplied them by quite a good amount either way. So we're gonna go ahead and take our diamond eggs that we've got right now. In fact, actually, I'm trying to contemplate right now. Should I? I want to go mine up this diamond. You know what? What do we got right here? Fortune. Okay, I'm just gonna use this on the diamond. Why not? Here we go. Give it a diamond. Perfect. Thank you for being so beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and replace you with cobblestone because that just looks amazing. All right. So now in total, we have. Uh, let's see how many diamonds we got. That is 79. I think that's enough. Yeah, I think 79 is very easily enough for uh, what we're needing to do. So let's go ahead and take all our stone swords. In fact, actually, let me go ahead and grab. I'm not gonna put them on here because you know what? Knowing me, I'm gonna put the stone swords in there and then immediately after, I'm just gonna wind up hold on let me maximize something do a little bit better with lighting i know me i'm gonna put him in there and i'm gonna forget about him and the whole chest is gonna stay filled with stone swords for the rest of the decade and it's just not gonna be worth it and that right there is a testament saying i do not think that the grinder is worth it anymore and i feel like choco has probably experimented a bit as well and find out found out the same for him so i mean we kind of got that but here we go baby we're doing this the way it should have been done before we're gonna go ahead and make three full sets of diamond armor so we got right here the helmet the boots the chest plate and of course the leggings set number one we're gonna do the same thing over here chest plates boots helmet and boot or I, I messed that up but there we go set number two and of course we got the chest plates right there we got the leggings we got the helmet and then we got the boots set number three there we go and then i think for right now we're gonna leave a seven other diamonds we've got right well technically eight but we're gonna leave seven diamonds in there for right now just to kind of work with but let's go ahead and see what we can do where is our lapis we have seven good lapis we really only have seven no way we only have seven lapis really oh dude no way no way Wow. You know, Choco, there's a thing about him and a pattern I'm noticing. He likes to do a lot of things without telling other people. 
He tells people the small things, but the larger things he kind of keeps to himself. Like the whole mushroom thing. He didn't say anything about that until half an hour into the episode. He recorded for 11 episodes while he's going to be away visiting Preston in Texas. This is maybe something that he possibly could have filled us in in. I don't know if this is him. I would assume it's him. But, um... I'm about to strangle that damn bird. So MVP of the award goes to Choco for four full sets of diamond. It's still kind of half broken, but on the other end of that, though, very, very impressive all my I mean, that is 11 episodes worth, so I mean, that's kind of expected, but I mean, I was going to be a little bit salty if he didn't really do much in those episodes, but I mean, he's Choco, you know, you guys know him. He is huge when it comes to episodes and just like what he does there. But I like that. I like that punch one flame, one bow with no power whatsoever. That's really good. That's a good level 30 inch in it, if I do say so myself, but still very, very impressive. Our diamond armor, though, is not nullified, even though I know a lot of people are probably hanging their head in shame like, Brandon, what have you done? And trust me. I'm doing the same thing, but it's okay though. Um, that's why we don't discover this on stream and still, again, uh, you know, nobody's told us. But either way, let's go ahead and enchant some of our gear. So on the helmet, we can get a good old protection three, just so we can get blast protection four. Uh, leggings, we can get protection three. And on the boots, we can get blast protection four. On the sword, by the way, we can, okay, so we can get basically the helmet or we can get the, it's either the helmet or the leggings. And I think we're going to go with whatever we have low durability of over here, which I think, let's go with the helmet, honestly. I think we'll go ahead and keep with the helmets on for right now so i'll go ahead and enchant level 30 up on here so that's protection three i don't really like I, I i hate going for prot like prot three on stuff but it's worth it rather than burning levels so we got just a plain old prot three right there not all that good okay so the next thing is a helmet on here protect protection four not all that good chest plate's gonna get Ooh, that's what i'm talking about baby legs are gonna Ooh. I have never, well, actually, I shouldn't say that, but I don't think I can recall the last time that I got, ooh, okay, I was gonna say, if that was, I can't recall the last time that I got Prot 4 on two sets of armor right there, leggings and chest plate in specific, but dude, that's incredible, let's see, what do we really need it on for the most part, like, we got protection 2, let's see, we have one Prot, we have two Prot 4s on this, and we have two prot four leggings but the prot four is on the leg let's actually go with the leggings i think we'll go with the prot four and the leggings for right now just to kind of be the oddball so there we go you take a look take 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 a look right there at the uh this thing what are these words i think are the words not are like are they not meant to fit on that's so odd what the hell and they're the same thing for both of them is it going to be please don't give me thorns please so good. That is a beast enchant. I love it. We do never, we never want thorns. Absolutely never, never want thorns. So that's actually really good. And then on the, let's try it over again. So on a helmet, we can grab fire protection four. On the pants, we can grab unbreaking three. Just so we can grab thorns. To, ew, God. And then the boots, we can grab blast protection four. So I, I didn't, forgot to check a sword too. Knockbacks also that. And then I keep forgetting as well. I should probably check, like, we don't really need bows, but I should be checking, uh, what's it called? Books. Even though I don't really think we have books i don't really think it's like big of a deal still we're kind of facing a situation right now where we don't really have all that good of things that we can get uh the unbreaking is almost tempting to go for i'm not gonna lie the unbreaking is almost a very tempting thing to go for just because of the fact that it might have protection but it is unbreaking which is something we kind of already really need yeah we need yeah actually we need an uh, unbreaking on the leg so i might actually see if i was to place that there would i still get I'd still get Unbreaking 3 on level 24. We need some Lapis, though, to be able to do that, which is unfortunate, the fact that we don't have any more. I might actually check and see, because I think... Let me go ahead and take a look over in uh, Choco's area. See if Choco might have any Lapis for us, because he might, of all people. Because he's been doing a lot of work, he has no... What is over here? Oh, those are my... Those are my banner chests. Okay. Let me check with Choco real fast. So here's my thought process right now. Choco doesn't have any lapis, and I don't necessarily want to go down in the mines this episode. I want to keep on a very productive grind. We're at 27 levels right now. I think what would probably be ideal is let's go ahead and head over to... I think I said I was going to do the Crypt Dungeon. I don't know. I'm trying to contemplate whether or not I want to go to the uh, Frost Hall Dungeon or the Crypt Dungeon. I'm not going to do it. I don't have no intention of actually beating the boss right now. It's just not really in my favor or in my, uh, I guess, ideal thing. I guess let's go to the Crypt Dungeon. I think the Crypt is... Yeah, let's go to the Crypt Dungeon. So we're going to go to the Crypt, and uh, we've got full iron armor on, right? 
you can definitely tell my full iron armor right there. And we got ourselves a Smite Force Sword. So we're going to go ahead and head over there. And I guess really... Hmm. Should I actually bring a Bane Sword too? I should probably also bring a Bane of Arthur Blood Sword. Either way, uh, we're going to head over there. We're going to grind up some XP. And really, I guess, like, experiment right now whether or not it's more worth it to go to a dungeon to actually try and gather experience. Or if it's still, by some odd chance, worth it to just stay down in that mine. Because, honestly... What might actually be worth it is using diamond enchanted swords on the, uh, what's it called? The area underneath there, because if that, that would kill them faster. So I'm thinking in that case, maybe that would be more ideal than anything else. So let me go ahead and, uh... I love you music this, but I'm going to go ahead and pop you for right now. Let me go ahead and put you over right in there. So let me go ahead and grab up that Bane Sword. What did I do with that Bane Sword, actually? Did I give it to... Oh, you know what? I think I gave it to Kenny. Oh, no. Did I give it to Kenny before I log? I think I did. Oh, shoot. I think I gave the sword to Kenny before I logged out. Crap! I don't know if Kenny's on right now. I might have to ask him to log on and give me the sword. Because I think I... Did I? Did I? I can't actually remember. What? No, 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 I didn't. No, 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 no. Okay. It's coming back to me. It is 1.48 in the afternoon right now. It is not too late to be recording H3M just yet. I remembered. I put the sword back over in this chest right here. Uh, at least I think I did. Please tell me for some reason that, like, I'm not somehow wrong. And, yes, we have it. Okay, so we have a Bane sword and we have a uh, Smite sword. So, there we go. We're good. We're going to go ahead and hop over there and uh, catch you guys back once we figure out whether or not it's worth it to go dungeon grinding or if it's good to just stay in the mob grinder. I don't know. I'm looking at this right now, and uh, the first thing that I see when going down here is three witches. And I can already kind of tell you right now, this is probably not going to be a good idea. I'm trying to go down here to gather experience. In fact, I think it's going to be an absolutely horrible idea. We got our first spider over here. And we actually dodged that. Wow. We actually were able to dodge an attack. Um, there are a lot of witches. I have a very strong feeling that uh, this is no longer going to be any... I, I don't think... Wow. Um, I really don't think this is going to be a good idea whatsoever to try doing it this way. I d wow. Okay, we're actually already down foot. Are you serious? No, no, no. Hold like no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get. I'm getting. No, no. Don't go into the creeper, please. That was an easy dungeon, and we couldn't even make it in without taking an absurd amount of damage to start things off. I okay. Wow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, dude. No, 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 no. I am not dying today. Like, hold up a second. That is an easy dungeon. I understand the fact that I'm... Wow, okay. We got zombies underneath us right now. I think they can run... Yep, this zombie confirmed can run faster than my horse can... Wow, okay. That really goes to show something. This baby zombie... It, this is a very fast baby zombie. And this guy can run faster than my horse can travel. We have a pack right now. Uh, I feel like a, I feel like a chaperone at like a, like a, a, a second grade field trip or something like that. But seriously though... That is an easy dungeon, and we were not even able to get inside of it without taking, like, 15 million hearts of damage. I don't see... Are easy dungeons even considered easy anymore? I actually want to talk to, uh, to Ben... Okay, yo, guys, relax a little bit. Like, please, I understand your new buff mod. Okay, please, please, guys, please. I don't want to die today. Thank you very much. I'm already at half health. Like, please, hear my pleads. Hear my pleads and hear my pleads. Still, though... This is, uh, I don't think experience, gr like, grinding is gonna be, I don't, I'm not sure. How are we gonna experience grind in this server anymore? Because, like, I understand that the mods got buffed for a good reason, you know, I'm like, this server needs to be difficult again, but at the same time, actually, I guess it's fair, you know what I mean? Because, like, the server was always meant, this isn't meant to be a very difficult server, and... We had mobs at the beginning where, like, if you went out during nighttime, you were going to get, like, instantly slaughtered. Like, KO! Knocked out of the game. And I guess now it's kind of like, well... If you go out at nighttime in, like, you know, iron armor, then you're probably going to get KO knocked out of the game. But, I mean, like, from what I'm seeing right here, it might actually just be a better idea, if anything, to just grind up mobs in this area right now. Because you guys can see, there's a lot of, uh, what is it called, mobs spawning just, like, underneath these trees. But we're not confined. And there's not a lot of witches either, because I think from what I'm seeing here... Oh my god, oh my god, hold on. Can we get... Okay, Serrated Strikes were taken off, I gotta confirm that. Um, oh my... Okay, oh my god, we gotta make sure... Okay, they are gonna come from... They are co literally coming from all directions. They're literally coming from all directions at this point. Okay, we gotta make sure that we got our horse right here. Okay, so it seems... I was about to say that it seems like spiders, or uh, what is it? Uh, witches seem to only be kept for the most part inside dungeons. That's a... Wow. Yep, this is definitely, uh, how long am I poisoned for? Three seconds. I'm gonna get back on my horse. This is, um, not good. 
I'm going to use an ender pearl real fast here. I'm going to get up on top of this uh, tree. There we go. Let me just survey the land for a second here. This is natural mob spawning right now. This is natural mobs spawning in their natural habitat. I, I don't... Okay. I'm learning, like, this is the gear that I'm running, by the way. Prot 1 iron, Prot 2 iron, Prot 2 iron, uh, l plain iron, I guess. It's like going into McDonald's and ordering plain cheeseburgers. Just got unbreaking, nothing else on it. I used to do that, by the way. I don't know why I ever did, but I guess I was, like, really nervous to try out, like, ketchup and onions and all that. But either way, don't go to McDonald's and order a plain cheeseburger. I promise you, you're going to regret it later on in your life. Don't go to McDonald's and order cheeseburgers at all. Just go to, like, in and out of their habit or something. Either way, this is, uh, not really going to go our way, I don't think. We have a lot of mobs. Uh, our, mo our horse is actually currently being surrounded. I think he's kept at gunpoint. The uh, skeleton over there is a hostage, preventing him from moving at all. Because that horse, like, if you notice, our horse is actually not moving. I think that horse is terrified right now. I'm so sorry. It's why he's tail. I think he's trying to, uh, I think he's signaling that he agrees with me. I don't know. Like, we're already, t like, we've already gone up two levels. But at the same time, I just, I don't know whether or not it's really worth it. So let me go ahead and, uh. Let me just hop down here. Can we... Do we even want to... Okay, we still got a lot of zombies underneath here. Let me grab my horse. Let me get the hell out of here and uh, see if we can maybe... Let me just focus on getting out of here real fast. I'm just going to go silent for half a sec. <sighs> Did not want to jump on the horse and immediately... That is a crown-wearing skeleton. Never seen one of those before. Nooch? Yeah, I guess that's Nooch. Okay, I think it, Nooch is disguised as a skeleton. Still, okay. Mustard Mansion has been overrun. Kenny, I'm sorry to say, but your mansion has been overrun. It's a festation. Dude. Wow. Okay. Mobs are... I don't even know what to say anymore. How are we going to... We need to set up some sort of efficient mob grinder. You know what we need to do? You know what we actually... You know what... You know what would be a good idea? What if we were to somehow take the fort? Like, uh, this is what I'm thinking, right? What if we... Because you guys know how in the front of the Crypt Dungeon, there's that giant area. Like, that giant, like, bare area. Kind of like as a walkway. What if we were to do the same thing? Because you guys remember back in Season 2, in front of the wall, Choco had that little mob grinder where, like, they would all funnel down to one little area. What if we did kind of the same thing, but it was like a, like a moat, kind of like a U, and they all fell into there and stayed there, and we were just able to farm up like that? Because that might actually be ideal. Because right now... I'm sorry, but I need to take some time. In fact, you know what? Those, for those that are watching uh, into the video this far, leave me a comment saying what you guys, like, what your mindset is on this entire thing and how you guys would suggest would be an easy way to farm levels. Like, not easy, just efficient. So, I'm going to be reading my comments up quite a bit on this right here. And uh, I think, honestly, what I might do for the time being is let me... I want to at least do something in this episode, like something productive. And I want, by that... Let's go ahead and take the gear that we've got right now. We've got our horse on us right now. Uh, let me go ahead and grab inside of here the three sets of diamond armor that I made for the time being. And move it over to... Yeah, see, we got uh, protection three. This is not mine, though. Let me go ahead and move over the stuff that I've got right here. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and bring up all of the diamond armor that we've got. And let's go ahead, actually... I wish it was, like, backpacks. I wish there was some sort of, like, transportation where you could bring more than just the 36 inventory slots that you have. I want to bring us over to the uh, over... The treehouse that we've got right here because I know a couple of people like I know Kenny's got his area that has like the armor stands and I know Choco's got his area that has the armor stands as well, but I kind of want to be like this treehouse to be That terrified me forgot. I left my gear up here. I thought Matt was literally is Matt si Matt is still on Wow He's been, uh, I don't even know. He hasn't died. I don't know if he's just, like, AFK overnight or, like, he forgot to log out or something. But, you know what? Actually, I could probably tell. Let me actually launch TeamSpeak real fast. Let me check here. Is Matt in the TeamSpeak right now? Is he in the TeamSpeak? Connected. He's not in the TeamSpeak. I don't know whether or not, I don't know why he'd be in the TeamSpeak. I don't know if he's recording or not right now, but he could be grinding. Because I know he had a very, like, I'm not going to lie. I, I know for a fact he had a very, very bad uh, last episode, which I feel so sympathetic of him for. But on the other end of that, though, he might be taking a lot of time right now to, you know, repay that and try grinding up. Which if he did, you know, if he is right now, kudos to him. I greatly rate it. Either way, uh, we have four full sets of diamond armor right now. Let me go ahead and move over, uh, what's it called? You know, we could actually do i could spend the levels that i've got right now on repairing the diamond gear that we currently own because i think what might be a huge meta is trying to get like a bunch of unbreaking books later on but at the same time i don't know how long i want to sit with 29 levels or whether or not hmm 
I think actually because levels, like I said, aren't really the easiest thing to gather, I might keep these levels that I've got right now, not use them on the anvil for the time being. And yeah, let me go ahead and just move up all the diamond armor that we've got. Right. I love how if you hold it, you just get the gear ability, man. It's so good. All right. Cobblestone, get out of there. All of that. There we go. We'll go ahead and move over to the good old, uh, what's you call it? Here we go. I got the, uh, the amped on right now. We'll go ahead and move this stuff over as well. And then uh, what I also want to do too, I wanted to uh, set up item frames next to each one of the armor stands. So we could have like a, a protection or like some sort of battle sword. But we'll have to do that when we get like a lot of sharpness swords because this area obviously is going to be mostly for uh, PvP gear. Like this is going to be your prot 3, prot 4 set that you go out. This is what you use to fight. So let's say like three of us die. We've got seven other sets right now that we can just go immediately back into the fight with. So let me go ahead and pop this on. So this is protection 4. Uh, you are... Let me actually just give a little bit of a note right now. Let me actually just take the sign for right now and say this is uh, broken. This is mostly broken. So we'll go ahead and pop on some broken stuff. This is a Prot 3 broken helmet. We got Prot 4 broken leggings. Prot 4 bro uh, broken boots. And then we do have, okay, we have a Prot 4 broken chest plate. Okay, there we go. So now the next thing that we're going to go ahead and do right here, because I want to like show people what we've got. So this right here is going to be, uh, we'll go ahead and repay. Or put this back over here. So this is, uh, let's see, broken helm and, wait, hold on. Where is it? Helm and leggings. Okay, there we go. So that's broken helmet and leggings. So we got there and there. And we'll go ahead and put on the, uh, oh, that actually only has feather falling. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Um, very interesting for sure. So we'll go ahead and put on the thorns on there. And then do we have boots that have, uh, there we go. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is going to be a specialty one. So this is amped on here, and then we have a mortal, and then this was his feather fall, or no, another mortal right there. And then we have another helmet that has aqua affinity. Ooh, very, very cool. I like that. So we'll go ahead and put this on here. One, two, three, and four. I'll have to label these a bit off. I'm going to label these off camera, obviously. And let's see here. Your projectile, hmm, projectile protection? I don't know if it's really worth it or not. Still not sure either way. So we got there, 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 and there, and then we'll do the same thing. So chest weight down right there, chest weight down right there, and then the good old leggings down right about there and uh there you go that right there is not just my work in fact this right here this is one two three four this is my work right here the rest of this is choco's and i mean choco did a very good job enchanting some gear at least if it's not choco i greatly apologize but if at the same time if it's not choco i don't know who the fudge would have been able to do it but either way that is a pretty damn good looking area. We're obviously going to need to tweak it up a lot. we got a lot of work to do, but I've been recording on here for about two hours. At the same time, while I do want to spend my time and get ahead of the curve and try and catch up the blue team, at least in terms of like their PvP gear, I can't spend more than two hours on the server per day. So we're going to go ahead and end it off there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed... I, I can't CBA right now. I literally CBA with the punch two power power two but whatever it may be, I don't like it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed another because uh, I like doing how to Minecraft episodes that aren't streamed. Just because they feel a bit more natural. Just it's a breath of fresh air to be able to do these without streaming them all the time. So you can cut them up, you can control what you guys really want to see. And uh, I think I think it was a good episode, honestly. So if you guys liked it, be sure to let me know. I'll catch you all back next time. Hopefully you're having a great day. And uh, yeah, take care. Catch you back next time. Ciao.